Hey everybody, it's Steven back playing GeoGuessr. I really haven't seen the numbers come in from the first video that I did, but I really like playing this game, so I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to go ahead and resume the trip that I started in the first video. Let's see if we can actually leave Dallas and go somewhere else. First off, let's go to the airport, and I go to Minneapolis, Toronto, Calgary, Miami, or Los Angeles. Of course, each of these is going to cost me a little bit out of my wallet to go, so let's make a run for Miami. Um, $539, going from Dallas there. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with the sound in this game because I'm assuming there's some sort of sound that should be playing when I do this, but I don't know why it's not doing it. I'm going to keep fiddling with it. So, welcome to Miami. Dive into the sizzle of the sun, surf in vibrant culture where the waves whisper tales of history and the skyline hums with moder modernity. Modern modernity? Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce that one. Let's go. All right, so South Beach. Uh, what iconic beach is known for its... Uh, so it's not Bourbon Street, because that's New Orleans. I want to say it's Ocean Drive. I, I, I've been to Miami one time, and I spent most of my time at Coral Gables, because I was checking out University of Miami for grad school, but... Okay, I actually got that one. Uh, Freedom Tower stands as a testament to Cuban immigration in the American Dream. This historic building, with its Mediterranean revival style, once served as the Cuban Assistance Center, providing relief to Cuban refugees during the 1960s. Today is a powerful symbol of hope and freedom, housing contemporary art exhibitions that tell the story of the struggle, resilience, and pursuit of liberty. The Freedom Tower has borrowed elements from which famous European structure? The Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Giralta of Seville, or Big Ben? This looks like Big Ben to me. Oh wow, it's actually the Giralta of Seville. Oh, there you go. The Sky Museums and Gardens. Imagine a European villa in the heart of Miami. This historic national landmark it is a window to the opulent American Gilded Age with Italian Renaissance gardens, native woodland landscape, and historic village outbuildings, compound, museum, and art furnishings celebrate the 1920s. I'm going to guess a fortress. No, wait. I'm gonna say private residence. This, sound, this, is like, this looks like a mansion. Yay, I got something right. I got 50 bucks for doing that correct. Okay, let's, uh... All right, new mission, visit three cities. Cool. Um, I guess I have to do some uh, missions here. Okay, American football. Haha! <laughs> I know foosball. Alright. This team won the first Super Bowl in 1967. Oh, shit, I should know this. Title Town. Doesn't help me all that much. Leaps and Bounds Coffee. Lodge Culver. Fan Code of Conduct. Oh, Lambeau Field. We're in Green Bay. Yeah, go ahead. Make your jokes. Okay, so Lambeau Field's right here. And so I'm going to guess I'm pretty close to this, right about here. Oh, I was 22 yards off. So close. Uh, famous authors, biggest cities, historical events. Let's do historical events. I'm pretty bad with these. This country was the first to give women the right to vote back in 1893. Okay, we got English uh, words here. That helps me somewhat. Traffic's on the left side of the road. So that's helping me a little bit, too. Let's see if this gives me anything. This could be like Tasmania. This could be Australia. I don't think it's it's too hilly for Australia. Can't make anything out on the sign. Obviously, we're near water. Dog exercise area during the summer. Raid, parking zone, grass street, no exit. I also guess like Tasmania? This could be like Hobart or something. This could be New Zealand. This could be like the North Island. I'm gonna guess, um... I have no idea. I legit do not know. Um, I'm gonna guess just near Auckland. Oh wow, it wasn't too far. Oh man, had I gone Wellington, I actually would've been in the right spot. Okay, total guess and a win on that one. Um, we'll do space travel. I did terribly on that one. The Khrushchev Space Center created modules for the International Space Station. Okay, so we're in Russia. The question is... Where in Russia? I'll let you know, it's a big country. And I mentioned this last time. I was looking for like the Baikonur Cosmodrome, but unfortunately I can't read Cyr uh, Cyrillic. That doesn't help me at all. Hmm. 
Normality. Normality. Oh, this is just embarrassing for me. I'm just gonna guess like somewhere in the middle of Kazakhstan. I don't know. Okay, it was Moscow. I should have been in. Way off the mark. Let's try it again. American football. Uh, the biggest stadium in the NFL, MetLife Stadium. Okay, I think it puts us in East Rutherford, Jersey. So I'm pretty sure MetLife is out there. Bush Township, Brunswick. And since I have not spent a lot of time on the East Coast, I'm definitely looking like, okay, where's this thing? Where's this thing? Where's this thing? Okay, we got Newark. Menlo Park, New Jersey Exposition Center. Okay. Probably further up, isn't it? East Orange, West Orange, Hackensack. Thick. Meadowlands, okay. No. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know I'm in the right ballpark. Okay, yeah, I was in the uh, I was in Jersey at least, so I got that one going for me. Alright, next one. Let's go let's go with American football. Smallest stadium. But sixty four thousand sixty eight thousand. EPG, so oh we're Pittsburgh. This because that is one of the bridges over the three rivers. I know exactly where this is. Give me on this side. Okay, so let's see. Carnegie Conference Center. Yep, Carnegie Science Center. So we're right about here. One of these days, I'm going to be like right on the dot, and I'm going to totally love it. Uh, let's go Marvel and see if I can make up for that giant mistake that I had in the last video. Okay, Randy's Donuts. This is in Los Angeles. I'm in relaxing here with a box of donuts within a donut. I can use the fun part. Okay. Uh, okay, Manchester and... This doesn't help me much either because I don't... I, I've never driven to Los Angeles, so it kind of makes sense. But if I can find one of the big roads... That'll help me. I'm looking for Manchester and this one that I can't pronounce. I'm not going to try to pronounce. I don't want to have just some offensive attempt to pronounce something here. What else do we have in the area? Okay, we got a highway behind us. That's helpful. This is an off-ramp. Manchester. All right, cool. We found Manchester. So I'm looking for something off an interstate here. Fig, Broadway, Hoover, Vermont. Normandy, Western, Ness, Crenshaw, Randy's Donuts. Okay, cool. So we are probably right here. Six yards. Yes. All right, let's do one more American football. See if we can get to level 30. The Bears are from this city. That is the Bean in Chicago. So I think we're on the water for this. All right, never been, never been to Chicago either. But obviously we got the uh, Willis Tower, the old Sears Tower in this area. So a Soldier Field, Navy Pier, Art Institute of Chicago, Butler Field. So obviously this is a big plaza. I'm looking for right now. Shed Aquarium Museum Campus. Hmm. So I think it'd be down in, it'd be kind of in this area. Trees Park. Hmm. Where, oh, where are you? Because I'm thinking it's like near this area. Oh, there's the Willis Tower. Okay. The Willis Tower is this one, I think. 
Oh, 10 seconds of crap. Uh, just keep myself in the lakefront park. Okay, that was a Millennium Park. Close, 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 close. Uh, level 29, Marvel. Let's keep going with them. Uh, welcome to Scotland's apartment. We is in the house arrest in Ant-Man of the Wasp. I'll tell you, this is San Francisco. We have Missouri and 18th Street. Sweet, it's going to make it a little bit easy because San Francisco, I believe, has numbered streets for part of their uh, setup. Okay, 16th Street, 17th Street, 18th, and Missouri. Bryant, Protero... Carolina, Connecticut. I'm good for Missouri. Mississippi. Missouri, here we go. And put myself right in the intersection. Four yards away. I'll take that. Level 30. Let's go biggest city because I'm going to be terrible with dogs. Um, the city with 21 million people is the fourth largest in the continent's largest. All right. Um, this is screaming without uh, scrolling around. This is looking like uh, this could be... Oh, Sao Paulo. All right, I was going to say Rio de Janeiro, so I got that one narrowed down for me, but I don't know where in Sao Paulo. This structure does look historic, but I don't know. Sao Paulo is a pretty big city. I'll just put myself kind of like here and call it. And not bad. One and a half miles away. Let's see if we can get one more. An esports category. Okay, let's uh, let's do some esports. This space arena is where the first GeoGuessr World Cup was held. Great. Um, yeah, I know nothing about GeoGuessr. I don't know that much. Okay, S E could be anything. This could be Swedish. This could be Sweden. Okay, train station. This is helpful. Okay, I'm looking for a train station in Sweden. Stockholm, maybe? This structure doesn't tell me anything. Over here, maybe? Oh, this is bad. Okay, so I'm going to guess Sweden. Um, I'm just going to say Stockholm. I don't, I, don't, I don't know exactly where this was held. Wow, okay, I was actually pretty close. I was less than two miles away. Level 32. Let's go esports. Let's do it. Climate Pledge Arena. I know exactly where this is. There's been many Dota tournaments international many times. The Climate Pledge Arena used to be known as Key Arena. It is in Seattle, Washington. Uh, one of the first concerts I ever saw was at this. So Climate Pledge Arena right here. But the question is... Okay, we're on the west side of it. There's the Space Needle. Okay, so let's confirm. We're at Warren and Le Lenny Wilkins. This Warren, and this is Lenny Wilkins. No. Well, it's got to be right here. Okay, so I think we're right about here. Actually, wait. Warren Avenue North. It's on both sides. It's on both sides. Aha. Pretty sneaky, sis. There we go. Eight yards away. All right, let's go ahead and actually open one of these guys out. Now back up with this. Okay, I'm trying to back out so I can get to that. I'm going to mispronounce that if I say that. Hosted the League of Legends World Championship. I'm going to guess this is in the Koreas. Probably uh, Seoul or Incheon. I'm not able to really tell beyond that just because I um, can't read Korean either. So let's go ahead and get ourselves over to... Yeah, I'm going to put it in Seoul, South Korea. And again, if I see, like, a a stadium or something pop up in here, I can definitely, like, zoom in on it even more. Okay, Sky Dome. Uh, it's a pretty big city, guys. Where is this? I'm going to put it... Put it in the university. Oh! Now <laughs> nah, that's helpful. It's right on the other side of the dang thing. Alright. See if we can go ahead and get out of this now. Oh, let me do it. Um, last one for this. This city is the second largest on this continent, the fifth in the world. Alright, so. It's like Spanish speaking. BBVA Bank tells me nothing. 
Got a Puerto. Okay, uh, I'm gonna guess Mexican Mexico City. Because Mexico City is a very, very large city. Let's see. I don't know exactly where we're gonna be, so I'm gonna put myself kinda like, wait a minute, where's the airport? Ah, let's try that. I'm actually not sure where Mexico City's airport is. Oh, here we go. This may not be the airport, but let's go ahead and put myself like right there. Ah, okay, I was on the wrong side. Oh, just gotta be right in the city itself. Let's see if we can actually back out of this now. Alright, so you have to do Visit City to get out of it. Let's go ahead and open up some of these U.S. Uh, card packs. Alright. Get the Sunshine State Plates, Miami Beach, and Palm Trees. Uh, those are my collection. Go ahead and do all these things, and then we'll move on to the next city. I'm going to try to keep these videos a little bit shorter, maybe around the 20-minute mark or so. Uh, let's see. One out of three cities. All right. Let's see where we can go from here. We can go to New York, Toronto, Montreal, Bogota, or Buenos Aires. Let's do New York, because that's going to be... I'm trying to get all the stamps done for North America. And welcome to New York. Uh, actually, I hadn't been to the city for the first time until, like, 2022. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the Big Apple, where skyscrapers touch the heavens and the subway never sleeps. Statue of Liberty, iconic. Times Square, flashy. Little in fact, the New York Public Library has over 50 million items. Start reading, folks. All right, so there's jobs here, too. What's this one? <laughs> okay. I'm not going to go ahead and mess with that. Let's uh, level up a little bit and see where else we can get to. Now, let's do famous companies for this. Samsung. Uh, this company initially sold noodles and produce from 1930 to 1960 when they started with electronics. Okay. Um, pretty sure this is Korea. I don't know where in Korea. Because the, the typography did not scream uh, Japan. I'm going to put myself somewhere like Incheon. Okay, other side of Seoul. Still counts. I'm within the uh, city limits for that one. Uh, ooh, I've never done F1 stuff. Let's do some F1 stuff. The Grand Prix has been held here since 1929. The answer, Monaco. I don't know exactly where in Monaco we're going to be, but uh, yeah, oddly enough, it's a Marvel reference because Iron Man 2 went the race in Monaco. So it's a little principality way down here. And now, do I have a street name I can locate on this? we got a pharmacy here. We got a casino. That doesn't help me much here. That's actually a supermarket. And let's see anything back this way I can hang on to? No. Not really. Okay. So if I had to guess, I'm on, like, the main thing. I'm on the main road here. Oh! Actually, right here. That was easy. Three yards away. I'll take it. Alright, uh, more famous companies, please. In 1986, this iconic fashion brand opened their first store in the city. It's Dolce & Cabana. You can see right there. Um, okay, we have an address. It's in Milan, Italy. Wow, they were just so nice to just put that right where they needed to. Okay. This is going to be more difficult than I thought. Because, um... This is a big city. Uh, let's see. Moncler, this looks like a hotel. Or not, there's a shop. Anything down here that's gonna tell me? Nope. Now, somebody who's like, oh, I know exactly where this thing is. Yeah, I don't. I'm not that good when it comes to this stuff. Um, yeah, let's put ourselves like right there. Oh, I'm on the, oh, it had to be inside the city itself. <coughs> Alright, level 38. Let's go with more famous companies. Maccas started in this region in the 1940s in over 40,000 locations around the world. If you saw the, uh, oh, what was that movie with Michael Keaton? Um, it was talking about like, the, the founding of McDonald's. So we're in California for this. But I don't know where in California, because this doesn't really help you much. Oh, wait, we have a uh, store quest self-storage. Nope, not helping me any. I'm just going to go SoCal. Because I don't know exactly where the first Los Angeles, uh, first one is, but let's do San Bernardino. No, Indio, California is where the first McDonald's was. Who knew? Well, then again, it said region for that one. Back in esports. 
the lax the land excess arena whoops uh, is often referred to as the cathedral of counter-strike in esports worlds all right let's see what we can get here we got a minute 30 to get this done um umwelt zone okay this is looking like this isn't german but it's close to german the rhine center okay it could be german Chrome. okay we're in germany is this german wow okay my uh my german is terrible okay bonn hanover berlin hamburg bremen dresden That's in Dortmund, Dusseldorf. Munich. This is bad that I cannot find this city. Munich, Bremen, Hanover. Russia, Bogan, and Bellefeld, Pathedon. Also. My, I, it is right in front of me, isn't it? I'm out of 15 seconds and I can't find this bloody city. Oh, Cologne. I'm looking for the German spelling for it, not the American, not the English spelling of it. All right, 1,100 yards. Uh, we'll do one more esports. Spodek Arena has hosted many esports games and events such as StarCraft, Counter-Strike, and Dota 2. All right. Okay, we could be in Eastern Europe somewhere. That does not help me at all. I, I will tell you right now, it's got great mass transit. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is like Prague. Because I'm really not sure where else I could be. It probably could be further east or into Europe, but uh, I'm just not sure here. And I'm with myself here. I don't know where I'm at. Yep, way off. It's 200 miles and somehow I am still in that thing. Let's see if we can get one more city, claim a couple more packs here, and then I'll wrap up the video. Paris, London, Lisbon, Reykjavik, and Dakar. Let's go to London. Let's wrap up and let's wrap up in jolly old England. Welcome to London. You got the bridge, you got Ben the Thames. Oi mate, welcome to London where history and modernity. Why am I why can't I pronounce that one? Exist. Stroll along the Thames, catch a glimpse of Big Ben or sip a pint in the classic pub from Buckingham Palace to Camden Market. There's no shortage of sites. Uh let's see. Can I just do things in this city? Because I kind of want to do stuff right in London itself. But all right. Um, it has hosted a Grand Prix since 1973 and has a bust of Carlos Pace in the circuit. I'm going to guess Sao Paulo because it's written right there. Um, but we're in Sao Paulo because this looks like a giant racetrack specifically designed for F1. Okay, so we're going to be overlooking the city. I'm, I'm guessing because we're on the outskirts of the city. I don't see a lot here. I don't know where. Hmm. Could also be this way. Could also be looking towards the city from the south. Didn't think about that. I'll put myself... Um, so up here. Yep. Yeah. Just thinking that southern part of the city was going to be the way to go for it. All right. Uh, famous companies. I'm, I'm nervous about the dogs ones. The ver this version of Burger King can only be found in this country. Give you a second to get the location. I know exactly where we got to go. We're in Australia. Um, where exactly in Australia? I don't know. This kind of is, I'm thinking Sydney. Because I may have actually gone down this street at some point. Regent Place. Okay, yeah, I think this is near the CBD in Sydney. Okay. I'm looking for... I don't see any street signs. So 
see if they find any street signs here. I'm not, but I do see a Starbucks down here, so that might help me a little bit too. Okay, could be... It's a two-way road. We'll see in a little bit. Yeah, it's not Pitt Street. Work is one way, Clarence the other way, Kent's one way, Sussex is two way. Might be worth looking at. Sydney Town Hall. Alright, I'm gonna put myself on Elizabeth Street. I think I'm in the right. Oh, it was a thousand yards off. I'm in the right ballpark. I got that going for me. Ooh. Country Flags 1. Of the Southeast Asian countries, this is the only one to not be colonized by a European country. I believe... Let's get myself into a ton of trouble here. I believe this is the Thai flag. Ministry of Defense. The question is... Where is the Ministry of Defense? Because I'm pretty sure this is the Ministry of Defense for this country, but I don't know where it is. Put yourself down right about here. Nah, not bad. 3.2 miles away, I'll take it. Game Studios, okay. I really should be wrapping this stuff up, but I'm not. The legendary studio behind Diablo and World of Warcraft is Blizzard. We're in California with the intersection of Elton and Jenner. Looks like in California. I believe it's in the Bay. I want to say it's San Jose, where this one is. Enter business, but Irvine. Aha. Irvine, California is down this way, I believe. Miles and Oaks, Calabasas. Is Irvine, wait, is Irvine Bay Area or is it LA? Palo Alto. Oh, I don't know California that well as well as I should. Or... Yeah, I'm going to keep going back and forth because I don't know exactly where this one is. Inglewood, Lakewood, Irvine. Haha. -ha. Okay. Bolton Parkway. Alton's huge. Doesn't help me any. Ten seconds. There. Ah, I went right past it. Alright, last one, then I'll put a cut in here. Uh, F1 circuits. One more time. This was the latest edition of the Formula 1 circuit in 2023. Hmm, I wonder where UNLV is. I'll give you a hint. It's in Las Vegas. We're at the intersection of University... Looks like we're between intersections. So UNLV, and I need to find the in and out at the UNLV campus. So UNLV, I believe, is east of the Strip. So there's the Strip itself. East of the Strip is... Where's that again? University Road. You got the U District here. Oh, here it is. All right, we're going to go here and wrap it up there. Four yards away. I'll take it. All right. That's a pretty good stop for this point. Got a bunch of levels up on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed me getting lost throughout the world. But if you did like this video, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.